basically what I'm doing right now is just changing the tune file for the 80 pound injectors. It actually literally just got done writing. So what I was doing, instead of taking the charts that people have online, I actually took another file that I found on HP Tuner's site that I just compared with the tune that I'm using now that with someone that already had 80 pound injectors and just took all that information and moved it over. I'm not expecting it to be exact, but I am, you know, I know it's gonna get me in the ballpark of where I need to be. So I just moved all the tables over to the tune that I have and just use that as a base file and just start tuning from there. So we'll see how it goes. All right, so we got everything hooked up and you know, it's gonna run perfectly first time I started up, right? <laughs> well, here we go. I think it's safe to say she's running a little rich. What do you guys think? So right now we are changing some of the injector offset table. Got the flow right because I actually hooked up a fuel gauge and saw exactly what it was and adjusted accordingly. And now I'm playing with the offset. Uh, I've changed it a couple times. It is leaning it out a little bit. Still not where I want to see it, but uh, I just did some changes. I'm going to see where it's at right now. We finally, I feel that we got pretty good with this, uh, the tables as far as the fuel tables because we're looking at air fuel right now. If you can see, let me zoom in a little bit. We got 12.4, you know, it's bouncing around there. 12.3, 12.4, pretty close. And the command is 12.5. So we were having issues with the computer. It was commanding a 12.5 air fuel ratio under light cruise and idle, which obviously it's supposed to be 14.7. But uh, it was because of some of the calibrations I changed with the cat over temp and so it goes into a fail safe mode which is what I was thinking I just didn't know what was causing it so now that we fixed that issue we're back on the dyno to get it right and then finally make some power and see what we can do having issues with it going really rich at the end of the test. The math sensor just wasn't tuned correctly, so I've been adjusting that a little bit here and there. It's still not quite on point, so I'm going to do it again here and hopefully get us <clears throat> closer in the ballpark because I want to run this thing a little higher than six grand because right now I'm only going up to 6,000 RPMs. Mm -hmm. And I want to make sure I get the fueling right before I start running up too high, even though it's rich I and mean, it's safe. But I want to just get it right. So. Now that it's good, I'm actually going to start running up a little higher and see what kind of numbers we make up there. So my man Jared over here, luckily he's here. We we're looking, he's looking, he says, yo, you got an oil leak? I was like, oh geez, here we go. So, see a little spot of oil on there. Um, we're looking up under here and you can see they're running down the pan. And I traced it back to the, can't really see it, the dipstick tube. It didn't jump out, but it is leaking. So, I'm wondering if it's a little bit too much blow by, but. As long as I keep up on my old checks, I think I'll be all right. <laughs> hey, so I meant to do this last night, but it was late and I really just wanted to get out of here because I had to close up and, you know, shut everything down. But uh, here are the final changes as far as from the old setup with the 3.0 3 pulley and the, the stock injectors to now with the 2.6 pulley and the 80 pound injectors, which, you know, I'm actually kind of disappointed. It didn't make as much power as I wanted it to. Uh, here, our peak torque is 
it went from 197 to 222 and then our peak power we made it a little later with the old setup which was 230 and now it's at 243 so part of that reason is I think the supercharger is just running out of efficiency at that point so yeah I'm just a little disappointed in the fact that we really didn't make much power but uh, kind of goes to show you that just throwing boost to a motor might not be the best thing for it if you really were trying to make a huge amount of power.